my friend and a native from Mandalay. Opa will show me around his hometown. We are away from Mandalay, like one hour drive, 10 yeah. kilometers away from Mandalay. Mm -hmm. And this pagoda is really well known as White Pagoda. White Pagoda. Yes, oh. but it's, it has the name, Mia Peng Dan Pagoda, but it's a little bit different, you know, oh. difficult mm. to mm. pronounce for you. Right. And this pagoda is really quite famous for its architecture. Yeah. And it is one of the highest pagodas in Myanmar. Mm -hmm. And the whole mountain, represents the highest mountain in Buddhist literature, uh, Mount Miru. Miru Mountain. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Miru yeah. Mountain. Yeah. I think I've seen it before. Oh. It, it looks like uh, it, in the movie from Bangkok to Mandalay. Yes. <laughs> yes. The, the actress, the famous actress from Myanmar. The famous actress. She, she was walking around here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What's her name? Uh, Wu Meng Shui Yi. Meng Shui Yi. Yeah. Yes, one of the famous actresses in Myanmar. Yes, the film was taken here mm. in Nya Tengden Pagoda. Mm. I think from that movie, the pagoda like became popular among Asian countries. Mm -hmm. We chose to stay at the bottom of Mundala Hill, where we can see a panoramic view of many pagodas. Besides, from this place, it is easy to go to a lot of main attractions in this formal capital city, including Mandalay Palace. Mandalay Palace is a gorgeous cultural site that you must visit. It's a large complex comprised of many buildings because in the past there were many royal family members because it's a former residence of two kings of Myanmar, King Mindong who founded Mandalay and King Tibo. And it ceased to be the royal residence and the seat of the government in 1885. After that, it was British colonial era. And during World War II, this palace was bombed so uh, the current site that you're seeing nowadays is the replica of the original palace which was built during the 1990s. These photos are from over a century ago. They are senior government officials. This is King Tipo, the last king of Myanmar. And these are photos of His Majesty's family. Here we are, Sri Nando Chao Monastery, yes. and it is one of the oldest buildings in Mandalay. It was built in 1883, oh. so it's like 150 or 160 Ooh. years old from now. Oh. And the, this building is really famous for its wooden architecture. Yes. Because the, the original building was built with only wooden, you know, they don't use any nails. Ah. They just use wooden to finish the whole building. Yes. And each wall you can see because they depict and they, you know, capture the legendary characters ah. and then the legendary stories mm. on the wall. Most ah. are basically on Buddhism. Buddhism, huh? And you can see this one. Huh. Uh, we call it Zoji. Zoji. It is a supernatural man ah. in our, you know, legends. Uh -huh. And he gains supernatural power by practicing in the forest. Okay. <laughs> and this is really quite, you know, famous in corridor leaks ah. in Myanmar tradition and culture. Ah. Oh, 
Oh. Here we are at the Mahamuni Buddhist temple. Oh. And this is really Messi's goal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and this is the most famous and the most crowded place in Mandalay. Yes. And we can also say that the most religious place uh -huh. in Mandalay too. Here, we can see Mahamuni Buddha image. Inside. Yes. The, can, Im the can, image is like over 2,500 years uh, old, uh, according to the history. Uh, and so it's not from Mandalay? No, the it's Buddha not image. from Mandalay. The Buddha image was brought from Rakhine State, Western Myanmar, Rakhine. to Mandalay. Oh, okay, okay. And uh, can we go inside? Yes, we can go inside. And then uh, you can see some of the people put gold leaves gold leaf. mm. on the image yes. to do some donation right. to the Buddha image. Right. And this? Uh, jade. Jade. Real jade. Yes, yes real, real, real jade. jade. Not imitation. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Jade stone. Wow. This monastery is really significant in Mandalay. Uh -huh. It was built in 1857 oh. by King Mindong, King Mindong, who was the founder yeah. of the former capital Mandalay. Okay. So Mandalay was the former capital of Myanmar. Yes. The last royal kingdom in Myanmar. Mm -hmm. So this monastery, like you know, 160 years old from now. Yes. It's and huge. Yes. <laughs> Since it is huge, uh, the monastery is used to host national level religious ceremony. Yes. So it can host nearly 2,000 audience in just one place. Wow. And so it's considered Buddhist temple? Yes, considered mm. Buddhist temple. Mm. Mostly like we call it Buddhist monastery. Monastery. And I, I can see the uh, materials are wood. Yes, yes. material is a word. Thick word? Thick, Thick yes. word. Thick word. Wow. And this building is quite famous for its architecture because you can watch and learn the Sili, how they constructed, you know, like many years ago. Mm -hmm. But uh, since it is, it is weekdays, not many people come here, but in weekend, the ministry is usually crowded. So local people call this place Kududo. Kududo Pagoda, and we call it Mahaloka Madazin. Uh -huh. And it was also built by King Mendo, founder of the former capital Mandalay. Uh -huh. And yeah. this place is really unique in that it is also like recorded by the United Nations Education Scientific Culture Organization yeah. UNESCO. UNESCO. As yeah. a was World Heritage Site. World Heritage Site. And Dix Bogoda also has another Guinness World Record. Ah. The world's biggest book. Book? Yes, biggest book. Why, 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 why book? Uh, because inside you will see like stone scripts. Stone ah. script. All the teachings of Buddha. Ah. So the essence of Buddhism ah. is here in the world. Okay. Let's go and see. Sure. Okay. Okay, so look at these stone scripts mm -hmm. and you can see a lot of readings and these all are feature all of the teachings of Buddha. Oh. So King Mindon, the founder of Mandalay, he hosted like fifth international Buddhism conference wow. in Mandalay. Mm. So another other Buddhist specialists and other Buddhist people hmm. came to Mandalay and they have discussed about all of the teachings of Buddha so he need the proof hmm. that's why he made those stone scripts and written all of the teachings of Buddha here we are one of the cultural sports in Mandalay, yes. namely Chao Do Ji Pagoda. Chao Do Ji. Yes, Chao Do Ji literally means that this is one of the biggest 
marble Buddha image uh, in Myanmar. Yes. And what's so fascinating about this place is this place was built also by King Mindo. Oh. So it's been like 150 years. See here. Uh, so these <laughs> are like the residual water wow. after we wash the Buddha's image face. Wow. So this is made of the Nakara. Ah. When we, when we put okay like this huh? and then okay 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 you will be in good luck. Oh. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, beautiful. This giant structure mm. was made from one piece of marble stone. Yes. And it is currently one of the biggest in Myanmar. Oh. I think it was like really hard to to how to say to carve. Yeah, to carve from one stone, one to piece carve of from stone. From one stone, because you can see how alignment were so exact oh. to be curved, oh. and then uh, like the ratio, the, the body ratio is yes. really great, uh, uh. and it's so marvelous and gorgeous. I think. Yeah. Fly to Mandalay with Bangkok Airways, Asia's boutique airline. Stay tuned for the next episode. Please subscribe.